Hey everyone, I'm Jake, and this is the second devlog for my multiplayer FPS game in Unity. Now that I can have multiple players in a level at the same time, the next logical step was to create a health system for the players, so they could run around shooting and killing each other. There wasn't really any networking code to get the health bars working, but there was networking code required for sending damage across the server, and also receiving it. This went pretty smoothly, and after I set up all of the code required, I created a simple health bar UI and tested it out. I also created a UI panel which displayed what player you were killed by. I then jumped onto the Unity Asset Store in search for some 3D models. I came across the Sinti Starter Pack, so I installed that into my project and got my player running around the demo scene in no time. Feeling super motivated, I decided to use the character model from the pack as well as some Mixamo animations to try and implement them and sync them over the server. How hard could that be though, right? One eternity later. That took way longer than I'd like to admit, but after hours of scrolling through forums, watching tutorials and bashing my head against the keyboard, I got it working. The problem? I had the animator component on the wrong game object. So yeah, after that I decided to take a little break from that. The one thing I did notice was the player's arms were positioned as if they were holding a gun, but the gun itself was way off to the side, which looked pretty janky. There was also another issue of the player being able to switch guns and see it locally, but the other players not being able to see which gun the player had switched to. This was another thing that required networking code and a few other smoke and mirror type things to get it working, but as it is currently, I'm super happy with it. Next up was more gameplay functionality. I created some UI to show the player's kills and deaths and started coding. I created a function that would display the current stats of the player and then would call that function to refresh the UI every time they got a kill or died. That's all for this devlog. I'm super happy with the progress I've made so far and I'm really keen to keep the ball rolling with this one. Hopefully I'll have something playable soon so I can 1v1 you guys. If you liked what you saw, feel free to subscribe and like the video. And as always, all comments and feedback are appreciated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.